Here's a fun project. It's appropriate for grades five through eight. It's going to give your students a chance to play and experiment with watercolor products. Um, I'm going to be using the Sargent Art Watercolor Magic today, as well as Sargent Art Watercolor Pencils and Watercolor Crayons. Um, what we're going to be doing is creating an abstract work of art. So what abstract means is that it's, it's going to be non-representational. It's not really a picture of something. So we don't have a tree and a sun. It's more about how you're playing with color, how you're positioning the colors and lines on a piece of paper, and how you're blending colors together. Um, the artist that I would show with this would be Vasily Kandinsky. He's a Russian artist. Um, he is one of the founders of non-representational art. Um, he actually discovered it by one of his paintings actually tipping on the side and the watercolor just dripped and created all these different interesting shapes. So that's how non-representational art was formed. So what we're going to be doing for this, I have my 9x12 white drawing paper. Um, we're going to be experimenting with wet on wet watercolor techniques. So what that means is that I have to start with a wet paper. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is actually just spray down a little bit my paper just to give a base of water. Um, the watercolors are going to blend much easier if they're going onto a wet surface. Um, I'm going to take my watercolor magic here and again you want to remind your students that you're, you're not making a painting of something. They're going to want to just go in and draw clouds and trees. What you want to do is just put down color and play. Have a little fun. So you need to start with a wet paper and you're going to add wet watercolor on top of it. And I'm just going to make random shapes here. So you want to encourage working the full size of the paper. I'm going in here with no preconceived notion. I'm not really planning out what I'm doing. I'm just putting down color. This is what Kandinsky used to do. They called it improv, where you're just going in and just adding color. And with watercolors, I always found with my younger students that they really like the bright dark colors and when I give them a set of regular watercolors they don't really add enough water because they like it dark and they end up scooping out all the color. This watercolor magic is great for so I mean I can make it a little bit lighter if I want to but it's already mixed with water so you know you're not wasting an entire set of watercolor. It's great for younger students because of that. So I'm trying to work with a limited palette here. As you can see to my right, I really only have, I have four colors. Um, they're colors that are going to blend pretty well together. If you notice, I'm kind of pre-wetting the spot that I want to work in. The reason being is that when watercolor, if it goes onto a dry piece of paper, it doesn't blend as nice. So when you have a wet um, paper, the watercolor is going to blend very nicely. It's going to have nice soft edges, as opposed to having a dry paper. That's why this is called wet on wet. Um, with watercolor, you want to start off kind of light. It's called a wash, a very watery, um, lighter color down first, and then you want to build up your darks as you go. I'm trying to use some of the same colors over and over again to create some repetition. So I think over here we're going to put some green. I'm just kind of playing. I'm going to let the green blend into the yellow a little bit here. You can kind of work with lines. You can stick with all maybe curvy lines and let the lines blend. You can kind of work in blobby shapes like I am. But again, the, the idea here is that it's abstract. And you're not really thinking about it. You're just putting down the color, letting the watercolor do its thing. So though the watercolor magic, you can make it a little bit lighter by adding a little bit more water to it. What I like about these Sargent Art products is that they're made here in the USA. You know, they're a very quality conscious company, everything is rigorously tested, and all their products are certified as non-toxic, which is great when you're working with your younger students. Now, Kandinsky used, did a lot with music. He used to see colors in music. So you can always, you know, put on a little music in your room, let the kids paint to the music. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do the mixed media part of this. Mixed media means that you're using more than one material at once, so instead of just watercolor, I'm going to go in now and I'm going to use the Sargent Art watercolor crayon. Um, I'm going to use the same colors that I'm using here, and while it's wet, I'm going to take this watercolor crayon and I'm actually going to go in around my edges. And I'm just going to darken them up a little bit. I'm going to give them a little bit more contrast. If you really wanted to do something like Kandinsky, you'll notice a lot of his paintings have big black lines, and you could take a black crayon and maybe do some lines on top. 
I like the effect that you get just kind of darkening some of these shapes that we've made. And it just kind of darkens it up a little bit. You can add a little bit of texture, add a little bit of emphasis. What's nice is that you don't have to wait for this to dry in between. If you're working on it now while it's wet, it's kind of activating your watercolor crayon and it's going on nice and soft so it is working like a watercolor. If you wanted to work more in detail, or if you wanted, you know, maybe to add a little bit of delicate pattern to one of these sections, um, you can take your Sergeant Art watercolor pencils. And they're going to have a much sharper point, and you can go in and do basically do the same thing, only you'll have much more control. You'll have a nice thin line as you go. And they work just about the same way. So finished product. Um, here's a start. This is a fun way. Um, to let your students experiment with different Sargent Art watercolor products. They all work very well together. The pencils, the watercolor crayons, the watercolor magic, or the watercolor sets. And it's a nice way to introduce um, abstract art to them. This is another variation on the mixed media watercolor um, abstract project. Um, this one I did using the Sargent Art watercolor set. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of nice color choices, more than your standard um, eight color set. Um, and what I did here, I mean with watercolor, with the watercolor sets, you need to activate them first with some water. So I'm going to go ahead in and just add some water to the oval here, getting that paint um, nice and wet, ready to use. And because we're doing wet on wet, I'm going to just wet a little section here. But you do have to watch, you have to have a little bit more control with the watercolor set as to how much water that you're applying. Um, because you want to make sure that you're not putting it on too dark because it is watercolor and it should look watery and soft. It shouldn't be super, super dark like so many kids want it to. So when, once this was all painted, I went in with my watercolor crayon in this bigger area here. I softened it out with a little bit of water and then I used my watercolor pencils to go ahead and add a very delicate little pattern in and around that line just to create a little bit of texture. This mixed media watercolor lesson uh, focuses on the elements of color and value. Color being, um, you can get into how colors blend, colors that are analogous, colors that are next to each other or similar. Um, they're related very closely, they're next to each other on the color wheel. Value being that we're doing different types of washes. We're doing a very light wash and we're building up into darker darker colors, darker values. Um, the principles of art that this lesson covers would be contrast, where we're taking our, our darker colors using our watercolor pencils and our watercolor crayons and going around these different shapes and adding you know, some contrast and some emphasis. Emphasis is where you're trying to draw your eye to a certain section. So by darkening some of these areas, we are creating a little bit of emphasis. And it also covers the principle of repetition because we're repeating some of the same colors and lines and shapes over and over again throughout our paintings. So there you have it, a totally improv abstract watercolor. It's a fun way for your students to learn about abstract art and get to experiment and play with Sargent Art watercolor techniques and products.